So these are our baby epaulette sharks. The smallest ones you'll see here are about four months old now. They're four females that you'll see. So they're found along the north coast of Australia. Uh, they're a tide pool animal. They like to be in shallow waters and they, they're nocturnal. They come out at night and they'll hunt in the tide pools on small fish and crustaceans, and little worms, things like that. Here you'll see them eating some small cup mix and some diced cup mix and then some whole shrimp for the big guys. So the cup mix will usually do squid, shrimp, uh, clam, maybe some smelts in there, uh, and a bunch of shrimp too. They like that a lot. We have two adults in our Stingray Bay touch tank. They're one male, one female. They get to be about three, three and a half feet long. Uh, ours have produced a bunch of eggs for us. We've had 42 pups born so far. We have the largest group of sharks that they are coming up on two years old. So they're roughly 18 to 20 inches long. And then we have a younger group that's, that's still a little bit bigger. They're coming up on about a foot. And they're a year to a year and a half old. The smallest group, they're four months old. And they're, they're only about eight inches long. Then we have a group of eggs, a group of mermaids' purses that we're incubating, and waiting for them to hatch out. We'll take a light and put it behind the egg, and that's called candling. We use that process to see how the shark is developing, make sure it's still doing okay, and see how big it is, and, and how long before it's gonna hatch. So in the, the most developed shark that we candle, you'll see there's just a little bit of yolk left. They, they have a yolk just like a chicken egg, and they'll use that yolk up as they're growing in the egg. Uh, the smallest ones, they're very wiggly. They have a lot of room in the egg. Because that yolk is, is pretty big, there's still a lot of growing to do, so they're not filling the egg yet. Uh, so you'll see them very actively moving, and the big dark spot in the middle will be the yolk.